historic figures everyone should know. By History as Biography Desiderius Erasmus was a Dutch Renaissance humanist, theologian, and classical scholar who is widely considered to be one of the greatest minds of the Renaissance period. He was born in 1466 in the Netherlands, and his father died when he was young, leaving him to be raised by his mother. Erasmus received a classical education, studying Latin, Greek, and theology at a monastery in Gouda and later at the University of Paris. Erasmus was deeply influenced by the works of the ancient Greek philosophers and by the humanist ideas of the Renaissance. He believed in the importance of education and the study of classical literature, and he wrote many works on these subjects. He also believed in the value of critical thinking and the importance of questioning traditional beliefs. Erasmus was a great admirer of Martin Luther, the German monk who had sparked the Protestant Reformation, but he did not agree with all of Luther's teachings. Erasmus believed that the Catholic Church needed reform, but he also believed that the Church was necessary for the stability of society. He therefore advocated for reform from within the Church, rather than a complete break from it. Erasmus is most famous for his work, In Praise of Folly, in which he satirized the foolishness and corruption of the Church and society. This work was highly controversial at the time, and it made Erasmus many enemies. However, it also made him a hero to many people who were frustrated with the corruption and greed of the church. Erasmus was also a prolific writer of letters and commentaries on the Bible. He believed that the Bible should be studied in its original languages, and he worked to make it more accessible to the common people by translating it into Latin and Greek. He also wrote a number of treatises on theology, including, The Education of a Christian Prince, which was dedicated to the young king of England, Henry VIII. Erasmus was a man of great intellect and wit, and he was greatly admired by his contemporaries. He was friends with many of the great minds of the Renaissance, including Thomas More and John Collette. However, he was also a controversial figure, and his ideas were often met with resistance from the church and other authorities. Despite this, Erasmus continued to speak out against corruption and injustice, and he remained a powerful voice for reform throughout his life. He died in 1536, leaving behind a legacy of intellect, wit, and courage that continues to inspire people today.